three weeks ago, I repotted some succulents that my sister gave me, and I want to give you an update as well as finish potting some of them. I ended up with four pots of succulents plus a couple stragglers that still haven't been potted after three weeks, which unfortunately is very common at my house that projects get half done. However, you'll notice I only actually have three pots here. One of the pots was a sedum burrito and it ended up dying. It already had some issues and wasn't looking great. And even after I repotted it, it still died. I wanna show you what these other ones look like though. So this little Echeveria may not look amazing. You can see it does still have some dead leaves around the edge and I'm actually gonna pull those off now that I'm showing this to you on video, it's doing okay. It's not amazing, it's not terrible. Those dead leaves are really common. After you repot something into a gritty mix, a lot of times the plant gets a little bit stressed and it'll suck up the water that's in those lower leaves. But looking closely at the top of this plant, it's actually in really good shape. These leaves that are growing in are really nice and firm, and I think it's gonna survive pretty well. Next up, we have elephant bush. And if you'll recall, I planted this in a pot without a drainage hole. So I've been very careful about the amount of water that I'm pouring on, as well as the frequency. With all of my succulents, I like to let the soil dry out completely before I water again. This helps them get a really good root system and be able to tolerate drought. In the case of this elephant bush, you can see some of the stems are not doing well, but some of them are. All of these were incredibly deflated, very similar to what these look like. And a few of them did dry up completely. I pulled them out. This one is going to be pulled out now that you've seen it. This one will likely be pulled off as well, but you can see two of these stems actually are still surviving quite well and they will continue to grow. All things considered, given the amount of neglect that these plants had, this is actually surviving much better than I expected. Lastly, we have this larger arrangement and it's definitely doing the best of the ones that I've potted. You can see here, this crassula does have some dry leaves. Again, that's to be expected, just like that Echeveria, when it went into the gritty mix, it's gonna pull water from the lower leaves of its plant and put those into putting off new roots. And then the new growth should come in healthy once this is watered regularly, which it has been. The Haworthias have plumped back up and the leaves don't bend nearly as much as they did before. When I did this kind of taco test before, the leaves pretty much squished all the way together. You can actually see these are curled up and they do still have a decent fold to them, but they are looking much better. This little crassula and this one are doing well. And even this little baby, which I was worried about, is continuing to grow. Overall, I'm really encouraged by how this has turned out. This is the bulk of the plants that I had in that original arrangement, and it's definitely going to survive quite well. Now, here's the cool thing. Because I put these into the succulent tracker app, I can actually see which ones I got for my sister because I have tagged them that way. But I'm also going to show you how I've been caring for them. So this elephant bush, because it's one that I know it can handle and likes a little bit more water than most succulents, in order to revive it, I've been watering it about every three days. So sometimes every two days, I'm not the most consistent, but on average, every three days. And like I said, it is recovering well. This little Echeveria, I potted up a bit later. It was potted about a week after the others. And right now it's also been watered on average every three days. This is definitely not the frequency I'm gonna continue with for this plant, but I will likely water it every three days for another week and then cut back and just water it every five to seven days and then every couple weeks after that. This one I watered every other day initially, so you can see the average watering is every two days, but I changed the watering schedule to just be every 20 days because it was recovering so well. So you can see it was last watered 12 days ago, and I'll go ahead and check it again in about a week. So that's how these potted arrangements are doing. But as I mentioned at the beginning, I have a few succulents from these arrangements that never got potted. So they've been three weeks out of a pot, out of soil, just like this. The ripple jade has not done especially well. This little one wasn't doing great in the beginning and it's really not doing great now. Ripple jade definitely likes a little bit more water than most succulents 
it's not getting that, just sitting on my recording table and potting area. This one is doing okay, and I think it will recover just fine, but I am gonna plant these two together in a pot, water them probably every three to four days for about two weeks and see if this one recovers, but I'm sure this one will. So then we have these two sedums. So this is a sedum adolphii or sedum nussbaumeranium. They kind of get mixed up in their labeling. Anyway, it's a type of golden sedum. And I don't know if you can tell from looking at these, but this one is actually turning translucent. It is rotting. These leaves are rotting off as if it was getting too much water. It hasn't had any water for months, and yet it looks like it's been overwatered. It's a little bit of a mystery to me, but I'm not surprised because I think this was just struggling in the first place. So I'm gonna pull these translucent leaves off and I will repot it, but I'm not anticipating that this one will recover or grow very well. There's a chance, so I am gonna go ahead and repot it, but I do think it's very unlikely it will survive. On the other hand, this one looks good. The leaves are actually pretty firm still. If I were growing this one and it was fully rooted, I probably wouldn't water it for another week or so unless it was bright orange. Now, one of the things I wanna try with this one is I wanna see how quickly I can get it stressed back to its really vibrant orange color. One of the ways to do that is by keeping it underwatered. However, since this one has hardly any roots and you can see some wrinkling under here from not having quite enough water, I am going to pot it and I'm gonna water it every couple of days to help it get established in the pot. I'm gonna put it very close to my grow lights, which are running for 12 hours a day. And then after about two weeks, I'm gonna cut back on the water. I'm hoping within about a month, it will be a vibrant orange again and I will reduce my watering frequency quite a bit to help it maintain that bright orange color. Let's go ahead and get these potted up. I'm going to put the sedums in this kind of aqua colored snappy pot. I want it to have a lot of contrast once this does plump up and get really bright orange. I am starting to think that I'm no longer gonna actually pot this one. I think I'm just gonna toss it. It's kind of hard because some days you just want to help a succulent revive and come back to life. This one, even this upper leaf and these, they just are so translucent and I really don't think they're gonna survive. So I'm not gonna put it in this pot at least. We'll see if I do something with it later or not, or just throw it away. This one though, let's definitely repot it. I am actually gonna rip off all of these kind of roots and soil that were here. And then I'm gonna just put it right into this snappy pot. Now, because this has a very strong stem, I filled the pot all the way to the top with soil and I'm just gonna press it in, kind of wiggle it down and then push the soil back around it and call it good. So that one was nice and easy to pot. I'm gonna put these crassulas in a little brown snappy pot. With these, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the dead leaves. I really don't know that this one's gonna survive, but I would love for it to. And it does have some healthy stem right through here. So there's a chance. I'm not gonna fill the pot all the way because I wanna make sure this is down in the soil. And I'm gonna brush off a little bit of these roots. I wanna give it a little bit uh, just so it has some stability in here. This one I ended up taking most of the roots off as well. I'm gonna set these in here. I want them to kind of fit into each other like a little puzzle, about like that. And then I'm just gonna fill in with soil. All right, that one is all potted up and I'm really curious to see how it grows. After I finished potting the two of these, I kept looking at this little sad, sad cutting and I'm having a hard time throwing it away. And I try to be a good example of, it's okay to let a plant go, just throw it away. But I noticed it has, somewhere around here, it has a little baby on it, starting to come out of this leaf. I don't know if you can see it very well. So I'm gonna do what I probably would not recommend and I'm actually gonna repot it. 
but I'm repotting it with the caveat that if it's dead in a couple days, I'm just going to throw it away. I'm not going to try very hard to revive it. I'm just going to give it one more shot. One thing that gives me hope about this plant is the stem actually feels pretty healthy. Again, the whole thing's weird to me because these leaves look so overwatered, and yet I know that it hasn't had any water in about three months. But they are what they are, and these leaves don't feel like they're gonna pull off easily, so I'm just gonna leave them on. We're gonna stick it in the soil. Probably need a little more. Oh, and we lost another leaf. To be expected. There it is, all potted up. One last attempt to keep it alive. And if it works, great. If not, that's okay too. I'm gonna just let it go. I think it's just big enough that I wanted to keep it. It's really hard though sometimes to let things go. I'm pretty optimistic about this one and I'll keep you posted. You can probably watch out on social media for some more pictures of it. Now, even though I wish I would have potted these up the same time I potted these others, I love that succulents can go so long without water and still turn out just fine. Obviously some will fare better than others, but that's one of the benefits of growing succulents is you have a little bit more wiggle room with when you repot them. I'm gonna add these succulents that I just repotted into the succulent tracker app. I'm gonna add a note to this one, just simply stating it was probably not very healthy to begin with. Stay tuned for more updates on these succulents. I'm excited to keep taking pictures of them and showing you how they progress in the next few months.